Hey there everybody and welcome. Today I am going to be demonstrating a solo variant for the uh, game Brass Birmingham. Uh, this solo variant was designed by Mike Taylor, BGG user MIKTAY811. Uh, it, was, it was developed for a two player, as a two-player variant, you versus a fictitious AI player named uh, George Stevenson. And then later, BGG user Henry II adapted Mike's original design uh, for multi-AI player uh, plays. If you wanted to play three-player against two Georges or even four-player against three Georges. Mike later took Henry's adaptations and then adapted them further and integrated them into his original design. Now, as you can see today, I am not using the original board game pieces, but I am using a um, a program that I developed to play Brass Birmingham, uh, and I've also implemented Mike's uh, design for a solo variant right into my program. It makes it much easier for me to uh, to present it this way rather than have it all sprawled out on my desk. Uh, and if you've watched any of my previous videos, you just know that I love doing this sort of thing for programs that I, I really love. Uh, Brass Birmingham among them. Uh, hard to believe that any program uh, could have uh, been developed, sequel or not, uh, that might outshine the original immortal classic Brass developed by Martin Wallace, but uh, I believe that uh, Brass Birmingham uh, is up to that task. Now, you're not watching today to get any grand insight on strategy. I am not a uh, particularly good Brass Birmingham player. I'm relatively new to the game. And, in fact, I'm going to go out of my way to do stupid things, um, either, either for demonstration purposes or, or whatever. So uh, no need to comment on this video saying, why the heck did you do that? That's stupid. Um, and, in fact, to... Uh, uh, to prove my point, I'm going to start off with a really stupid move. I'm going to take a loan as my first action. Uh, now, I should say, first of all, that if you're not familiar with Brass Birmingham, it, uh, this is not going to be a complete tutorial, although I will sort of explain a little bit of what's going on as I go. Uh, these are all the various actions I can take on my turn. I can build, network, develop, sell, loan, scout, or I could pass. And I am going to take a loan, uh, which is not a particularly smart thing to do uh, on your opening, uh, as your opening move, because it's immediately going to kind of put me into debt, into negative income, which means I'm going to have to start paying that loan back uh, right away until I can make some money off of it. But uh, that's just what I'm going to do. So, uh, because I, I, I looked at my hand already, uh, which is right here, and I saw that I could build in Coventry. Now, this is all taking place in and around the area of Birmingham, England, in the 1770s to 1870s. The game's divided into two halves, the canal era, which starts us off, followed by the rail era later on. Uh, and I was thinking, oh, why not demonstrate this by starting off and building a um, a pottery in Coventry? You'll notice that down here in Coventry, uh, I can, one of the things I can build is a pottery. And then I could later sell my pots, assuming I can get Coventry connected down to uh, uh, Gloucester. I could sell my pots to this merchant down here who would, or to this merchant over here in Oxford, for that matter, and either one of them would happily grant me some beer uh, in an effort to do that. So I think that's what's going to be my first move. Um, unfortunately, a level one pottery building, which is the I have to build whatever lowest level is on my board, ha happens to cost $17 and requires iron. There's no iron on the board, so I'm going to have to get the iron from the market at two bucks a. a uh, a piece. So that pottery is going to cost me $19 to build. I only start the game with 17 um, and no income. So uh, the loan is going to provide me with 30 more, uh, I don't know, pounds, quids, whatever the right terminology is, 
But that's what I'm going to start off with. And then, and in order to do that, I have to also discard one of the eight cards in my hand. Now, I should also point out, if you're familiar with Brass but not familiar with the solo variant, uh, when you're playing three players, you're playing with a 55-card deck stripped down from the full 64-card deck. Uh, and that it comes that equates to 18 cards per player in a three-player game, 54 divided by 3. In the solo variant, the deck is actually divided into 18 cards, uh, each mini deck given to each player. Uh, the two uh, Georges, and in my case, one's called George and the other AI player's called Fiona, uh, because I wanted to be gender neutral. Um, they actually have a deck, but they haven't dealt any cards to themselves. They only deal cards to themselves one at a time and then play on that card. I get my whole hand dealt out to me in addition to my standard one discard. Uh, so that's eight cards in my hand plus one in the discard equals nine. My original portion of the 54 card deck is 18. 18 minus nine, it leaves a nine, and therefore there's nine cards remaining in my deck, which is why that says nine as opposed to a higher number that you would expect it to say. Okay, uh, with that out of the way, uh, I have uh, taken a loan, but I have to discard a card in order to do that. I see I've got multiple ironworks here. Uh, I'm just going to discard one of those ironworks. So now my, uh, my money has now been increased to 47 down here at the bottom from 17. And now it's going to be George's turn. I, I, the human player is always the starting player. George is the second player. He is yellow. He's going to go next. He's going to reveal a card and then roll a six-sided die to determine what action to take. So he revealed a cotton mill. And he rolled a two, which means he is going to build a cotton mill. He's going to further roll a die to, to randomly pick a location uh, in which to build a cotton mill, and we're going to see where that is. He's going to build a level one, level one cotton mill in Utchener, which is up here in the northern area in black country, so-called because of the soot caused by all the coal mines uh, from this era. Uh, I should say that, uh, that the AI, AI players don't have money. They don't really spend money, but money is placed on their character card over here to indicate how much they would have spent if they had money on the turn, because the turn order for the next round is based on how much each player spent. Now, you can see I didn't spend anything because I took a loan, um, and for this level one cotton mill, George is going to be spending $12, 12 quid or 12 uh, pounds, I may say bucks or dollars, I'm going to probably use those terms interchangeably, so I'm just going to say that up front right now. And uh, we'll, so he's building this in Utchitter, and if we look at Utchitter, there's only one place that a cotton mill could be built, right here in this space, and that's where George is going to put his cotton mill. So that's set. Now, the AI players, of course, cheat. Uh, in order to give them a fighting chance against me, the the newbie. Uh, but uh, one of the things you can assume f for all the AI players is that they're fully connected. They don't have to build canal boats or railroads or anything to connect them with everything else on the board. So imagine that uh, both Yellow, George, and Fiona, who's playing the, the blue player today, uh, they don't have to build links, although they will build links uh, just for scoring purposes uh, as the game progresses. The other thing that George uh, can do is build and sell in the same turn if beer is available. Now, you can see that he's selling to uh, a merchant in, in Warrington over here, this merchant right here who uh, is willing to sell uh, and offers a barrel. Now, George has already stolen that barrel of beer. Uh, it requires one beer to sell. So George is cheating, essentially, by having a free connection to Warrington, having a, uh, being able to sell his goods, his cotton goods, immediately after building his cotton factory. And uh, 
then turning over the turn uh, to uh, Fiona, who will go next. In the first round of play, everyone takes one turn, one action. And then after that, everybody gets two actions per turn. So we'll finish up watching the rest of George's turn, and then we'll see what Fiona's going to do. So Fiona uh, has rolled a six and uh, drew the Redditch card. And I'm going to turn off the dice sound uh, just so I don't have to speak over it. There's a lot of rolling of dice in this game. Uh, only for the solo variant, I should say. There's no dice in the game itself. Fiona rolled a six. So in the Canal era, when you roll a six, you just flat out score four points. You discard the card. And then you flat out roll, uh, I'm sorry, earn four points. And that's what she's doing. She's scoring four points, which is this black box over here. Again, the white box is how much uh, money we have. And the uh, yellow box is our income level, which translates into, because it's not a one-to-one -one translation, so an income level of 10 translates into income of zero. For both of us, I have the minus three income, so I'm paying back uh, at the end of every round three quid. So my money's going to drop down to 44 as soon as it becomes my turn again right now. So we're moving into round two. I've, dropped, I've paid my three bucks to the bank, and now it is my second turn, and I get to take two actions. Now, I have to uh, work much more rapidly uh, in order to keep up with these AI players. So uh, I have two Coventry cards. I'm going to play one of them. So I'm going to take the build action to also build. I'm going to build in Coventry. Now I can't, uh, I, I'm going to build that pottery I was talking about, which is going to cost me 19 bucks. So uh, that's this level one pot pottery down here. I'm going to be paying 17 for the pottery and 2 for a piece of iron coming out of the iron market because there's no iron to be had on the board. Uh, so what we're going to go ahead and build that pottery. I'm down to 25 bucks and I built a pottery in Coventry. Coventry. Now this uh, I can only build one thing in Coventry in the or in any area for that matter in the first era in the canal area. So this Coventry card in my hand isn't really helping me anymore as far as Coventry is concerned. So I'll just get discarded for my next action, which is going to be a network action. And discard Coventry. You always have to discard a card for every action. And uh, instead of you, you know, I'm just discarding any card so I can build a link, a network link, which is going to be a canal boat that's going to link Coventry with Birmingham. So here's the big city of Birmingham. Here's Coventry over here. I'm going to build a canal boat that's going to travel along this line and uh, allow me to connect and pass, uh, pass stuff between uh, Birmingham and Coventry. Now, remember, the two AI players are already covered. They, they don't have to build links, although they will. Fiona rolled a one and drew a... Um, uh, either a stone card or a manufacturer card. I didn't take note, but she is building a level one manufacturer in stone, which is right up here. That's going to go right here. And immediate, she's immediately selling goods as a free action and now taking her second action. I'm trying to remember what was my, oh, okay, so my two actions were building the pottery and then building the canal boat. For her second action, she rolls a six. That's just going to earn four points, as you already know. George is going next because he spent the most amount of money in uh, the first round. Uh, so he went last. He drew a leak card, which is up here in the northern area of Black Country. He's building a – and he rolled a three, so that's still a build action. One to three is a build action. He's going to build uh, randomly a, a level one coal mine in the leak. When you uh, – when once an AI player has a location pinned down, then they roll another D6, which I'm not showing, to choose randomly what they're going to build, whether in this case it's a cotton mill or a manufacturer or a coal mine. 
he is building a coal mine, which is going to have two pieces of coal on it, ready to be used whenever it's called for. Now, that's uh, in order to use coal, you have to be connected to it. I'm way down here, and I certainly don't have connections to Leak. But remember, George uh, has all of his own connections to Leak, so that's not going to be a problem for him. And for that matter, Fiona is connected to it as well, so she may use that uh, coal when it's her turn. We'll wait to see. For George's second action, he rolled a one. And is, and again, I uh, uh, is that, yeah, that, there, there's his card. He, uh, he drew an ironworks. And uh, he is building a level one ironworks in Stoke-on-Trent, randomly. Stoke on Trent. So there's where the ironworks is going to go. That's going to actually make some iron, four pieces of iron, uh, three of which is going to go back into the iron market because there's space for it. So only one piece of iron is going to be left on the ironworks. Uh, and again, the only reason that's being sold to the uh, iron market is because George is connected to Warrington, who's willing to buy it off of him and move it back into the market. So there goes all that iron. It also cost a coal, which George took from Leak. And now it's a new round, and it looks like Fiona spent the least. George spent the second most, and I spent the most uh, all told. So I'm going last. Fiona's going first. She's taking her first turn. Scoring four points on a six. She uh, discarded, oh, now she discarded a uh, pottery card. Uh, well, in her first turn, she discarded a pottery card. I'm not sure what she did for her second turn. Can I tell? Not sure. But she's developing a... Uh, oh, oh, I see what she's doing. She discarded a pottery card, and she's doing a develop action because she rolled a 5. On a 4 or a 5 in era 1, uh, the, uh, pl the AI player develops, meaning... They remove some items from their player board so that they can get some low level one items out of the way, for example, and get them ready to build low, uh, level two items, which are more profitable for them. So Fiona, and Fiona's doing this twice. Each one requires one iron at a cost of one right now. So Fiona is spending one in order to develop this coal, uh, coal mine. This is going to go away now. And she's also developing a level one brewery for another buck, another piece of iron. There are two level one breweries, so this is going to flash, but another one's going to remain behind. This counter is going to go from two to one. And now it's Georgia taking his first turn. He rolled a three. Uh, he uh, looks like he discarded a brewery, and he's just networking. Uh, at, Normally, when you're playing the original two-player variant that uh, Mike developed, the uh, building of links occurs as a free action in the same way that the sell occurs as a free action when you do a build, assuming the, the beer is available. Uh, however, when you're playing against uh, multiple AI players, they are forced to either build their links on the, on, during their next turn or to sell uh, on another turn whenever beer become, is available. So uh, the only reason that um, George was able to build and sell in the same turn earlier was the that the beer was available because of the merchant. So he is networking Stoke-on-Trent with Leak because he has both uh, a building in, in both locations. So he's going to uh, freely connect those, and then he's going to freely connect Stone and Stoke-on-Trent with a, another canal boat because he has buildings in both of those. He, he essentially uh, builds links between all of his adjacent locations. So that's what he's doing as his first action. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, this is Fiona's. So uh, he is not building a link here. This is Fiona's uh, um, manufacturer. So he, he simply built a link connecting his own ironworks with his own coal mine up here in Leak. And now he's taking his second action. Uh, rolled a four. He's he's also doing a develop action. He's going to remove one cotton mill from his board. And another cotton mill. And that'll get rid of all the level one cotton mills. And now it's back to me. 
so it is round three and uh, what am I going to do I, I, I don't want to spend a lot of time here um, I think I will uh, further perform in, uh, some more network actions in order to get me connected down to Gloucester so I can sell this pottery as quickly as possible get using their using their beer before uh, either George or Fiona gets their hands on it I am going to discard I'm going to discard Canic which is right here but I don't see myself building there uh, anytime soon so I'm going to discard the Canic well first I'm going to say I'm going to network I'm going to uh, get rid of the Canic card in order to do so and I'm going to build a canal boat connecting Oxford with Birmingham that's really all I need to do to be able to sell my pottery now I'm connected to Oxford which does have which does buy pottery and that when I when I do that because I'm using the beer I'm going to get a beer bonus of an increase of two income in addition to the in, increase I get from my pottery uh, my pottery increase is five so I'm going to get a, a, a boost of five income when I sell uh, this uh, pottery uh, which is going to be my second action and uh, uh, what am I going to get rid of here I think I'll just get rid of this brewery so uh, get rid of a brewery card automatically selling my pottery increasing my income dramatically from 10 to well well to whatever it was let's see if that was done correctly I thought it should have gone to five plus two. Oh, I was at negative three so negative three plus seven gets me to um, uh, to uh, negative three which was seven uh, income seven plus seven gets me to income 14 which translates into two income so now I'm not having to pay the bank back every time I'm making some money you could see that here's a portion of the table that shows at uh, income 14 your income is 2 as soon as I get to 15 my income will be 3 and then I won't jump up to 4 until my income goes up to 17 anyway uh, it is Fiona's turn we could see that she's developing a level 1 cotton mill be uh, in uh, because she rolled a 4 so she's gonna pull this cotton mill off of her board And now she's taking her. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm still showing my board, not her board. Well, that's all right. Uh, looks like she built an ironworks, and now it's my next turn. So it's round four, and it is now my turn. Uh, and I am. I think I'll build an ironworks as well. Most like mostly because the iron market is virtually empty here. So by by building an ironworks, I'm going to be able to sell all that iron. So, well, I have to build the ironworks somewhere that's connected. I don't know that I'm going to be able to do that. No, I can build it right here in Birmingham. Birmingham is connected to a uh, to a uh, merchant in Oxford, so Oxford will buy back all that iron, and I'll earn. I'll pay what am I paying here five bucks for the uh, iron works and I'm getting back four plus three plus three plus two as the, as the four uh, pieces of iron are sold back to the market so I'm getting 12 back uh, it's a nice little uh, return on my investment uh, I am building it in Birmingham I am just going to discard the iron works card to do that and then I'm going to select Birmingham I have not built in Birmingham yet so I can build that ironworks and now all that iron is going to get sold to the market and my money is going to increase dramatically so now I got 27 bucks to my name happy about that for my next action uh, let's network some more I like having networks uh, links out of Birmingham Birmingham's a big metro uh, metropolis lots going on in there now you can see that some of these links this is a rail link only and this is a rail link only to the Neaton uh, so I cannot build the canal boats in the canal era um, on those links but I am going to uh, network here I will discard um, a coal mine card to do so 
And uh, I will build a link that connects Birmingham with Worcester so that maybe I can invest in cotton mills as well. George's turn. Rolled a six, so he just scores four points. Then he draws an Utchiner card. Tempts to build an Utchiner, but he's already there. He can't build again in, in the first era, so he scores four points instead. New round, new turn order. George is going first. Building a level one pottery in Stafford. He drew a pottery card. Selling those pots to this uh, merchant uh, down here in Gloucester, I think. And now developing a level two coal mine off his board and a level one brewery off his board. And now it's my turn. Okay. Uh, again, I'm going to do some more networking. Uh, so I'll network. I'll discard uh, this newly drawn coal mine card. And I'm going to connect Birmingham with Dudley. So I'm going to build a link right here. I did that because I saw that I had a Dudley card and I could use the Dudley card to build maybe another ironworks because there's still uh, iron to be sold to the market. Uh, and uh, as long as I can get to uh, make some easy money, I'm going to do so. So uh, I'm going to build in Dudley an ironworks. All that iron gets sold back to the market to Oxford. Now Fiona's taking her first turn, scoring four points on a six. And uh, looks like a develop action on a five. She's developing a, a level two manufacturer. This one's going away. So she's going to be able to build level threes. And now a level two ironworks is coming off her board as well. Round six. Turn order is now Fiona, me, then George. Fiona is building a, uh, because she drew a Canic card, she's going to build randomly a manufacturer in Canic. Getting the necessary coal and iron. And also developing a level one cotton mill. And where's she developing that? I didn't see. Oh, it's coming off her board. It's a develop action. And now it's my turn. All right. What am I going to do? Uh, I think I'm just going to continue networking. Uh, networks uh, links can earn a lot of a fair number of points early on. Unfortunately, all my links are going to get destroyed at the end of the uh, canal era, so I'm not going to be able to hold on to them. But I need, I, I want to be able to build these links to just expand my little network here. So I'm going to network, I'm going to discard, uh, I got two Worcester cards, so I'll discard one of the Worcester cards. And I'll build a canal between, hmm, how about uh, Worcester and Kidderminster, which will also connect me to this farm brewery over here and allow me to build there. So I'm going to build a canal boat there. And then for my second action, I'll continue networking. I'll discard one of my extra cotton mill cards and I will connect uh, get Mr. to Dudley. Uh, how about uh, Walsall to, to Birmingham? Very nice. George is taking his first turn. Roll to five. Develop action. Taking the pottery off his board, spending an iron to take a level one brewery off of his board. His second action, he uh, rolled a one. His card was a brewery, so he's going to build a brewery randomly in Nuneaton. So he'll have extra beer available to him when he needs to sell. As will Fiona, for that matter. And now it's my turn. Uh, well, I've done a lot of networking, so I think it's time to start building. Uh, I'll do a build action with a plan to build a cotton mill in Worcester. Uh, so I will 
just discard my uh, well, I could either discard Worcester or Cotton Mill. Either one will would allow me to uh, build that Cotton Mill. Oh, I'll just hold. I don't know why. Uh, I'm discarding my Cotton Mill, but I could just as easily. I, I probably should discard my Worcester card because I can't build in Worcester again after this. So I've done that. And now, because I'm also connected to Kidderminster, maybe I'll build a coal mine there, because I haven't built any coal mines. So uh, I'm going to do a build action using Kidderminster, and I'll build a coal mine there. And all that coal is getting sold back to the market, making me some extra money. And of course, when all the, when all the coal or iron or beer of a card is sold and used up, the card, the tile immediately flips. So it's the same reason anytime you sell goods to a market, the tile flips so that those, those revealed tiles uh, are ready for scoring at the end of the canal era. That will happen because our decks are now empty when our hands are empty as well. So we're nearing the end of the canal era, which is going to happen pretty quickly. Fiona's going next. She rolled a three. She's building a, a level five manufacturer in Birmingham. She hadn't built there yet. She's now drawn a Stoke on Trent and building a, a level five manufacturer up there. She has developed all her way up, all of her way up to a level five. George is developing off his board a level two cotton mill. He's down to one and a level two coal mine, which is coming off his board. His second action is a build. He's building in Redditch, a level two ironworks, and selling it all back to the iron market. And now it's round eight, and for change, I get to go first. And I'm down to four cards because the deck is empty, so um, I think I'm going, I've got to get some developing done. In preparation for the second era because I can't build any level one industries in the second era in the in the uh, rail era but, but before I do that um, I'm going to complete my connection just for scoring purposes I'm going to do another network action probably not maybe not so smart but I'm going to build a canal boat that connects uh, Worcester to Gloucester. Oh, I have to discard a card. Uh, I'll discard uh, that cotton mill. And now build that connection. There we go. That's better. All right. And for my second action, Uh, I will develop. So I will use my Wolverhampton card, which is up there. Uh, I could potentially in my last turn go up into w w Wolverhampton, but it uh, looks like I'm not going to. So I'm going to use my Wolverhampton card uh, to develop and get some of these level ones out of the way. So I will uh, develop a level one brewery probably should develop another level one brewery but I'll take off a level one manufacturer just for good measure so both of those required me to to spend iron George is developing a cotton mill and a level one manufacturer so you can see that they on a four or five they develop in the canal area and they do a heck of a lot of developing now George is building a level three cotton mill in Kidderminster and selling that cotton to uh, the merchant in Warrington. He had his beer. He used the beer, if you noticed, from Cunning, uh, from uh, the Neaton. Uh, Fiona, I didn't see what she did on her first turn, but she's developing uh, some stuff off of her board. And now we're going into the last round. Looks like I'm going first. This is the last round of the canal era. So I'm going to disc, I'm going to build uh, using my brewery card, a brewery in the farm brewery over here, which I'm connected to because of this link. That's going to give me the beer that I need in order to sell my cotton to the, to the buyer in Gloucester. So I'm going to do a sell action using my last card, sell that, uh, Beer, that flips. Sell the cotton, that flips. 
Now Fiona gets to take her last turn. She's scoring four points. And her second turn, she's scoring another four points. George taking his last turn of the era. Tempted to build in Stoke on Trent, but he's already there, so he just scores four points. Taking his second turn, he drew Stafford. He's doing a develop action. Two develops in the Canal era. And that's going to take us to scoring. Canal era scoring. So what happens here uh, in the Canal era, although Canal boats go away, but just before they go away, they get scored. And they're scored based on the number of leak, uh, uh, link icons that are visible when you look at the two adjoining cities. So uh, what do we got here? This one earned me two points because over here in Dudley, there's one link icon there. It's up in the top right-hand corner. That link icon is in a hexagon. And over here in Birmingham, there's only one link, a link icon in Birmingham because this manufacturer never got sold. I guess beer wasn't available to Fiona when she built it, so she wasn't ever able to get it to sell. Uh, to sell. But it is level five, so it's not going to go away. She'll be able to sell it in, in, in the, the uh, rail era. But it is going to require her two beer to sell because of the two beer icon in the corner. Okay, moving along. So I got six points for this link down here connecting Kidderminster. There's a coal mine here with two link icons. There is a, a cotton mill with one. That's three. Down here, there is a, a cotton mill with one. And over here on the brewery, there are two link icons there. That's a total of six points. I'm not going to pause any for longer. I'm just going to show you the points that are being scored as my link icons get removed. Not a lot of network links were built. Uh, now my industries are getting scored. All the ones that have flipped. Each of which also provided me with some income. You can see my income's now up to 33, which is an income of 11 bucks per uh, round. And now we're scoring um, all the industries built by... Uh, George, and then we'll move over to Fiona. I guess we already did George's uh, link scoring. I, well, he only had one, I think. There's Fiona's link getting scored up there in the north. Now she's scoring her industries. And then, after all that, all the industry, level one industries are removed from the board, leaving anything that's level two and higher. I should pause here. And any... Uh, Adjacent locations automatically have links uh, built between them. Doesn't look to me like anything anybody had any adjacent locations. I don't see any links anywhere. Uh, so what is uh, Fiona did something on her first turn? I didn't really notice, uh, but on her second turn, she uh, got a three and a Coventry card. So she's building. A, she's taking that. A pottery spot in Coventry and building a level one pottery. I'm going to be going next. So it's now my turn in the rail era. Uh, so what, I, what do I have left here? I have this uh, Coal mine in Dudley, which is going to get to score again. It was level two, so that's why it's has stuck around. Now, in order to build links in the canal era, I need coal. Uh, and I have, and my network, and because of all, all my uh, canal boats were destroyed, I've really left my, I played so poorly. I am now stuck in Dudley without any coal. <laughs> So it's going to be hard for me to uh, build, and uh, is there any place? I could network out of Dudley, but again, I need coal to do that. So I'm going to need to build a coal mine in a place like Colebrookdale, which would then connect and, and network it to Shrewsbury, which would then provide me all of the coal I need, uh, or at least me, allow me to branch out back toward Dudley. Unfortunately, I got a Birmingham card. I can't build a coal mine there. I have a Canic card. 
I could build a, a coal mine in Canic. Uh, so I do have some options. No, can, I can't build a coal mine in Canic. Or can I? I'm up to level two. I could potentially. It doesn't require any additional items. But I think instead I'm going to demonstrate the scout action because we're never going to see that from any one of the AI players. So uh, for those of you who are relatively new to the game, I'll demonstrate how a scout action works. I have to discard my normal card and two additional cards. So I will discard this one of these extra canic cards. And now two more cards. I'll discard Stafford because it's way up in the north. I don't plan to go there. So I'll discard Sc uh, uh, Stafford. I'll, I'll also discard one of these ironworks. And in return, I get a wild industry card and a wild location card, which is going to allow me to build anywhere. And now it is my, uh, what is it? Uh, Oh, I did a scout action. Now I can uh, do take my second action. So I'm going to build using my wild industry card. What am I going to build? You know what? I can. I'll just go ahead and build a coal mine in right in Dudley. I could have done that before. I didn't need to do the scout action, but I'm going to want to get to other locations. So I'm glad I did that. Uh, for, for demonstration purposes, for, no, for nothing else. So I'm going to use my wild industry to build a coal mine in Dudley. Now I, uh, I am now, uh, what do I want to build? Uh, it's a wild industry card. It's going to be a coal mine in Dudley. And now in the canal, in the uh, rail era, I am allowed to build multiple industries in the same city. All that coal, of course, uh, is not networked to a uh, merchant, therefore it does not sell back to the uh, coal market. It stays on the tile. George is doing another develop action in the in the rail era. The solo variant says when they roll a four, they do a develop action and only develop one item because they were developing a lot up to that point. And in uh, just for uh, for good measure, if they if any of the AI players had any level one uh, industries remaining at the end of the canal era, they remove them then for free. It's a free develop action. Uh, George is going to build uh, an ironworks in Stoke on Trent. All that iron getting sold back to the market because George is still fully connected. Now it's going to be my turn. I'm going to go first here in round 11, first of my two actions. Uh, let's uh, let's start my network or, or re-network my location. So I'm going to do a network. I'll get rid of uh, stone. Where's stone? Up in the north? Yeah. I'll use my stone card and I'll connect Dudley to... Well, I was thinking of going this way, but there's nothing to sell. There's nobody to sell to in Shrewsbury, so I'm going to go back to Birmingham. So I'm going to network Dudley to Birmingham. That's going to consume one coal from my coal mine in Dudley. And now I'm going to perform... Oh, now I am possible. I am able to build a second railroad for an additional 10 bucks and a barrel of beer and a, and, and a, coal, and a coal. I have ac I do not have access to any beer, so I can't do that. So for my second action, uh, I think I'll network again. I will get rid of Colebrookdale and connect Walsall with Birmingham, sort of re rebuilding the network I had before. That uses up the rest of my coal and flips my coal mine. Not going to build a second link. That's going to turn over the reins to George, taking his first turn, scoring four points on a six. This time, uh, in this re uh, uh, era, they earn four points on a five or a six, and only develop when they roll a four, building on a one to three. So now he's developing on a four. And now Fiona's taking her first turn. She drew an, a, a coal mine, but as a free act, well, it's not a free action. She's using her action to build links connecting all of her adjoining locations. And now she's scoring four points on the roll of a five. 
Moving into round 12, I'm going to be going last, George going first. He's building a pottery in Stafford. Taking a second turn, is he going to sell? Uh, he still has this pottery over here in Coventry. Coventry. I, I'm sure he's going to do a sell action right now. No, he's not. Oh, he doesn't have access. Uh, he does have access to the beer. He's, he should be able to sell. Oh, it has to be the very beginning of his turn, I think. Uh, at least I've interpreted the rules because it says at the start of the turn they can sell. But he already did the uh, networking action at the start of his turn. And because networking is mentioned first before selling in the solo variant rules, I'm assuming the networking happens first. And if I'm remembering, was was this net, he didn't network though in his first action. Uh, no, he built the pottery as his first action, uh, but the selling has to ap happen at the beginning of his turn. So he won't be able to sell until his next turn. So for his second action, he's just going to build a coal mine in Kidderminster. Sorry, I got a little confused there. Fiona's taking her first turn. She attempted to build in Dudley, but that's fully built up. There's no more space there, so she's just going to score four points. And for her second action, uh, on a Wolverhampton card and a one, she's going to build a coal mine in Wolverhampton, which is over here in the east. In, in the west, I should say. And now it's finally back to my turn. And uh, let's see, what did I last do? I connected to Walsall. So I think I will build. I'll just use my wild location, even, even though I don't need to use it because I'm already linked, networked into Walsall. But I'm going to go ahead and build a brewery in Walsall and have access to some beer. Now that's going to provide access to beer for everybody. Uh, oh, it's going to be a brewery. Now, in the rail era, uh, you get to get two barrels of beer on a tile that, build, that you build. And now I'm going to build in... What else can I build? I'm going to build in Canic. Because I have a Canic card. And then I'll worry about networking Canic to the Walsall later. So I'm going to use my Canic card to build uh, another coal mine just to because uh, I'm going to need access to coal and none of that coal goes any place and now it's a new round and Fiona's going first she's going to uh, do her networking action by networking in her adjacent locations and now she's building a level two coal mine in stone Now that's interesting. Why didn't she sell all that coal back to the coal market? And that should have happened immediately. That's a free action for her. I wonder if that's a bug in my program. I'm going to have to check that out later. That could be a bug. But uh, not, not such a terrible bug that I can't continue. So what am I going to do here for uh, in round 13? I think I will do that networking I promised. So I'll Discard a Stoke on Trent card and uh, connect Walsall with Canic as promised. Now I have beer available and coal. Uh, so I could build another railroad. And I've got not a lot of money. It's going to cost me an extra 10 bucks. But building extra networks, if you can, in the, in the rail era, I think does pay off, even though they're very expensive to build. You're basically spending 15 pounds instead of just 5 pounds. You're spending 2 coal instead of 1 coal, obviously. And you're also spending a beer. But I am going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to connect... Uh, I'm going to continue my connections out of, Nuneaton, uh, out of Birmingham. I'm going to connect Birmingham to Nuneaton as my second link. That uses uh, one beer and... Uh, a coal, so now my uh, coal mine is almost depleted. My coal mine is in Canic is depleted, and now it's my second action, 
even though I kind of did two for one there, two networks for one, I'm going to build, do another network action. I'll get rid of one of these extra cotton mills, and I'll connect Canic to um, this farm brewery over here. So I have access to more beer in future turns. I spent one of the coal that was sitting here in Wolverhampton, but didn't sell to the market either. Again, I'm not sure why. George is building a level three coal mine in Tamworth, uh, and a level four, and a level four ironworks in Birmingham, selling all the iron back to the market. So the market sells, but why isn't the coal selling if they're truly connected back uh, to everybody? Fiona is doing that free networking action where she networks her adjacent locations, not free. And also scoring four points for her second action. And now it's finally back to me. Uh, and for my turn, I am going to build that brewery in the farm brewery. So I'm going to uh, use my brewery card and build a brewery out here. So I now have access to two more beer. And I'm going to continue networking, trying to double network if I can. Oh, I don't have quite enough money to do that. Darn it. Need 15, not 14. So I'm one quid short. Uh, but I still will do a network action. I'll use my Coventry card and I will connect a Worcester to Birmingham so I can make my way back to this beer over here and hopefully get access to it when I want to sell. That uses one of my coals. I don't have the necessary money to continue building, so it's now George's turn. He's going to. Uh, do his do networking of his locations. He still hasn't sold his pottery. And now it's his second action, and I don't believe he could sell on that in his second action, so he develops in his second action. Moving into round 15, Fiona's going first, I'm going second. She drew a leak card. She's building a coal mine in leak. Way up in the north. And again, it's not selling back to the market. Huh. I think that's a bug. Building a level two cotton mill in Stoke-on-Trent. Selling that cotton immediately because beer is available in Warrington. Uh, I guess there was beer here. And now it's my turn. Not watching as closely as I probably should in order to see exactly what's happening. And I'm not pausing enough to see exactly what's happening. Um, all right. So for my next turn, I think I'll do some building. Uh, I will build an ironworks in Walsall. And, and uh, iron doesn't need links back to a marketplace in order to sell. It teleports. So all that iron is going to get sold to a profit, making me some nice money and some nice income. And for my second action, I will build, I think, in Birmingham, leave my stake there, and maybe I'll build a uh, manufacturer goods. I haven't done any. I haven't built a manufacturer yet. I've developed one, but I haven't built one. So it's a level two manufacturer that I'm building in Birmingham. You can see I'm not really thinking about much what about about what I'm doing. Oh, I didn't even check the scores. Uh, I am in second place after that uh, after the first error, but I'm way behind uh, George here. I'm not sure what the scores were. I should have paid attention, but I'm not really caring much about the score here. Burton on Trent, he's scoring four points, discarding Utchiner, and he's going to build a, a manufacturer in Utchiner drawing on the coal he had in stone. Now it's back to my turn. Uh, I have six cards in hand. My deck is empty, so you can see that there are three full turns remaining before the game's over. This will go pretty quickly. I am going to uh, build... I think I'll build in Birmingham again. I'll use my Birmingham card to build one more man 
to build one more manufacturer in this spot. Uh, yep, it's going to go right there. It's another level two. That uses up my last level two manufacturer. And for my second action, let's see, I, if I'm going to sell this stuff, I have to get myself fully networked. So I will network. Uh, I will discard Stafford. And I'll connect uh, Worcester to Gloucester. That'll get me back to the buyer, so I'll be able to do my sell action. But I now have money available. I have 19 bucks, so I can build a set, use a, build a second link, and I think I'll do that. I will connect Oxford to Birmingham as well. Again, just for the points, I think, not because there's any grand great reason. The beer is now gone from here, so. But if I happen to build some more potteries, uh, which I don't think is likely, uh, I can easily sell to that merchant too. Click one of my unflipped breweries or an opponent's connected uh, brewery. Oh, I have to consume a barrel of beer. So I'm going to use the barrel I have up here in the farm brewery, which will then flip the farm brewery, ready for scoring. Fiona uh, doing a network action, networking her adjacent locations. And for her second action, she tried to build in Walsall but couldn't, so she's scoring four points instead. Now it is the next round. I'm going last. So Fiona's going first, and she's building a level two cotton mill in stone and selling that cotton immediately in Gloucester. So she had no problem with her network there. The beer was in Gloucester. She was able to use it up. Oh, now I don't have the beer available to me. I wasn't fast enough to get to it. George is building a level three cotton mill in Worcester. He does not have access to beer. So uh, he's selling it to, you got somebody's beer. Or did he? Uh, happening so fast, I'm not noticing what he did. Uh, I have to look at the log. Uh, so what did you do, George? Uh, selling cotton, consuming one beer from my brewery in Walsall. He stole my beer. Oh, uh, didn't notice. Okay. All right. Next to the last round, four turns remaining. I have to sell these two manufacturers here in Birmingham. And I need beer. I could network and build my own brewery. Or I could just use this George's. It's going to give him seven extra points. But at this point, let's just do it. So let's uh, network Worcester to Kidderminster. I mean, that alone is worth some points for me. I won't build a second link because I need both of those beers. So I will sell using the cotton mill, the first manufacturer, and the second manufacturer. So I'm all sold up. Going into the last round, I'm first. What is my best bet here with my two remaining cards? I could build a coal mine and an iron works in Coventry. That's worth three points for the uh, coal mine, nine points for the iron works. We might as well do that, even though it's going to benefit this link for Fiona. So I'll start by building a coal mine because I have an iron works card. All that coal is going to sell and the tile will flip for scoring. And now I will build an ironworks in Coventry. I assume there wasn't a better place for all this building to take place. I don't think so. Okay. Fiona's last turn. Two turns. Tried to build a pottery. No spaces for building potteries. Belper is off limits in a three-player game. She's building an ironworks in Colebrookdale. Uh, the iron is not going to sell because the iron market's full now. George is uh, using one action for networking. 
and now building a manufacturer in Wolverhampton. He's not going to be able to sell. Now, to be fair, this coal mine should have emptied out when it was built. So I'm going to empty it out for her and flip Fiona's tile. Uh, the ironworks is fine. Nothing. I don't see any other coal mines. I just want to be fair because of the bug in my program. And here we go to end of era scoring. So I'm down at 47 in third place. Don't know if I'm going to be able to make up uh, what I need to make up. But if I'm lucky, I might come in second place. Wasn't playing that well, so I don't probably even deserve that. But I do have all those links into Birmingham. I, the, the, those are probably were worth a lot of points. And Birmingham alone has uh, one, two, uh, only three links. So this is worth. This was worth five. This was worth four. Uh, maybe not as valuable as they used to be. Anyway, my score is 135. That's pretty paltry. I usually score when I'm playing between 150 and 200. I think my high is actually 190 or so. That's my personal high against uh, human players. So this was my failure, failure of not taking the time to concentrate. I think George is. George looks to have most of the stuff built. I think he's going to come out ahead here. He, and he he did have a sizable lead to begin with. One forty eight, still pretty close. He didn't do that well. And Fiona. Neither, neither George nor Fiona had much in the way of links. Fiona had these two links that she scored for, I don't know, some, probably some paltry points. So it looks like George won with 148. I came in second just shy with 13 points. Considering I wasn't working too hard, I... I uh, I did pretty well, and then Fiona distant third. Anyway, that's pretty much how uh, Mike's solo variant works. Sometimes uh, the AI players play much better. You know, it all depends upon how things turn out randomly for them. So it's a bit unpredictable as to what their scores are going to be. But it is, you know, when you're off on by yourself and you want to play some Brass Birmingham, you have this variant to fall back on, and it works pretty darn well. So thanks for watching, everybody. I, as Like I said, aside from that bug, I hope that uh, my program did everything else correctly according to the solo variant. If anybody spots any mistakes, uh, as far as the program is concerned, please let me know. Uh, I will get that bug fix, fixed right away. Otherwise, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye for now.